everyone, welcome back to Nerd Labs. In today's video, I'm going to be building a super powerful electromagnet. An ordinary magnet is created when the magnetic fields of all the atoms in a piece of metal are aligned in the same direction, so they form one big magnetic field that can attract other pieces of metal. An electromagnet produces the same magnetic field by passing electricity through a large coil of wire wrapped around a piece of metal. Think of it like that si experiment you did in science class as a kid where you wrapped wire around a metal nail, connected it to a 9 volt battery, and used it to pick up paper clips. But let's get real, those were lame. What we're going to be making is a lot more powerful. <laughs> First, I'm going to start with this old dead microwave oven. I'm going to start by taking out all the screws from the casing to disassemble it. Now we've got to pull the casing off the microwave. After that, I unscrew this high voltage transformer, which is called an MOT, or Microwave Oven Transformer, and pull it out. When plugged into 110 volts from the wall outlet, this transformer converts it into about 2,500 volts of electricity. This transformer has a core made of a closed loop of iron. This core has two coils of wire wrapped around it. One is called the primary coil and has about 50 turns of wire. The other one has a, is called the secondary coil and has about 2,000 turns of thinner wire. When electricity is passed through the primary coil, it, gives, it turns it into an electromagnet, which causes it to produce an, an oscillating magnetic field. This oscillating magnetic field causes electricity to be induced in the secondary coil. Since the secondary coil has more turns than the, of wire than the primary coil, the voltage output is increased, but the current is decreased. If we take away the secondary coil, we'll be left with an, we should be left with the electromagnetic field from the primary coil, except all, all, that mag since, uh, all that magnetic field is dissipated through the closed loop, so no electromagnetism will come out of it. However, if we open the loop, we will now get we will, all the magnetic field will escape, thus giving us a powerful electromagnet. I used a hacksaw to cut the metal flange off the bottom of the uh, off the bottom of the transformer, which should expose the primary and secondary coils. Once I made cuts on both sides of the flange, I was able to pop it off with a little force from a hammer and chisel. Next, I pried out the primary and secondary coils from it. Then I replaced the primary coil, but did not replace the secondary coil. Notice how I left the flange off so the loop stays closed. I used this 12 volt car battery to power it and connected it to the primary coil of the transformer. When I touch the wires, it becomes an electromagnet. Oh, oh man, that's crazy. The primary coil was originally designed to run on 110 volts, 
from the, directly from the wall outlet, so why not try it? As you can see here, I'm hooking it up to a power cord and plugging it into the wall. Let's see how powerful it is now! Get him on. I don't want to bang. Oh crap, it's short circuited. One of the wrenches short circuited it and it blew up in my face and burned a hole in the coil. Uh, nothing a little electrical tape can't fix, though. Ah, that's nuts! And bolts. 